got a lot of good games going it's on a today. Lot. It's, it's, it's going to be hard yeah, to get them on stream. It's, it's not a, a lot. It, it's not a tough out today. Excuse me, not an easy out. Oh. Fox News alert this morning. Investigators are trying to piece together why a gunman opened fire at a video game tournament in Jacksonville, Florida. Even though the motive is unknown, that's not stopping Democrats from rushing to say gun control could have stopped it. Here to weigh in, Florida Attorney General Pam Bondi. Pam, good morning to you. Good morning, Steve. Do we have any idea why this guy started shooting with a real gun after he lost a game? Well, I, I think you answered the question. I want to be careful what I say about a pending investigation, of course, mm -hmm. but, but clearly he lost the game. He was angry. Uh, there were people there from really all over the country were in that pizza place playing the game that day. It was something going on you know, all over the country, but people were in that particular spot who weren't Floridians when yeah. this horrible, horrible outburst happened. And, and this 24-year-old, uh, apparently a resident of uh, Baltimore, Maryland, and I understand the authorities have uh, searched his house, are in the process of searching his house as well. But, you know, uh, it, it was shocking because so many people play games like this, not very often, or occasionally under one roof, but usually, I believe, something like this is played remotely, where you could be sitting there in Florida playing with somebody in New York, like me, right now. Yes. Yes, and I, I have friends, kids, who play different games, um, but all of these games, parents need to be really careful in general on all of these games because predators can find you based on location services. So please, parents, any of these games these kids are playing, check location services. I know Minecraft, we've talked about that in the past. Right. Um, I don't know about Fortnite, but they're playing all over the country, and the scary thing is, is they could find out where your 13-year-old is sitting at home playing that game. That's right. So, so that's something very important, too, in general on all of these games. And if a parent can't figure out how to do it, ask your child who plays the game all the time. Right? Take me into settings and show me how to disable that. Uh, Pam, let's talk exactly. a little bit about how uh, your attorney general's office does have a victim compensation fund available. And uh, we've put the phone number up right there, 800-226-6667. What Thank is you. that? Thank you. And that's run through my office. Mm -hmm. It's money allocated by our legislature. And it's um, an incredible fund. And what it does is it helps. Um, we can pay up to $7,500 for funeral expenses, um, medical bills, depending yeah. on the severity of the, the condition, sometimes up to $10,000, right. up to $5,000 for counseling for people who weren't physically injured. But people have already personally reached out to me um, who know people who were inside the establishment. Think about right. the trauma that they go through. And these folks now are back. A lot of them are back home. Thank goodness they're all over the country. Yep. So call that number if you were there, if you need help. Governor Rick Scott was there last night personally helping people. Um, Senator Rubio's office reached out. The White House reached out to us within an hour of it happening, saying, what resources can we do? Florida Department of Law Enforcement, okay. the airlines, everybody was working together. All right. So if The people... sheriff, Mike Nelson, was incredible. I mean, Mike Williams and the state attorney, Melissa um, Nelson. Right, Everybody was exactly. great. So, uh, Pam Bondi, the attorney general, thank you very much. I know it's an ongoing investigation. Thanks for telling us what you could.